Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back. I'm Ben here at the Edible Schoolyard, Kern County. Uh, now, last video, I saw that you guys got to hang out with Sierra and talk about a whole bunch of decomposers. In this video, I want us to focus in on just one animal in the FBI, and it's the earthworm. And as you can probably guess, earthworms are not fungus, and they're definitely not bacteria, so that means they are invertebrates. They are very, very, very different than us. So let's check out some of their anatomy. And if you start down here, you can already tell, they don't really have much of a face. They don't have eyes, no ears, and no nose. They just blindly blunder around until they can find food. And once food enters their mouth with the help of the pharynx, which is kind of like a tongue that can reach out and suck food in, it'll travel through. And along the way, fun fact, it passes by worms five hearts. That is crazy. And once food reaches the crop, which is kind of similar to our mouth, it gets moistened by saliva before it passes into the gizzard where it's ground up with the help of tiny rocks and sand and sediment that's in there. Uh, this is where the magic really starts to happen though. When food travels out to the other end and the worms go to the bathroom, their worm poop gets left behind and from now on we're going to call them worm castings because scientists don't like to say worm poop. These worm castings are the reason why worms are the best natural gardeners in the entire world. Those worm castings are so rich and so full of nutrients that they're some of the best fertilizer around. And that's why we have our worms over here in our worm bin is because we like to collect them. So I want to show you guys this up close. So let's go on and take a closer look. So there are three main awesome benefits to worms and why we keep them. First, worms are covered in a slimy mucus. This is actually what allows them to breathe. And as they're digging through the soil, they leave some of that mucus behind and it adds a really nice sticky texture to the soil, which makes it better to grow in. Second is they, as they dig around, they make tunnels, which are nice pockets where air and water can travel through. And lastly, they poop, and we love that worm poop called worm castings because it is so full of nutrients and it makes our plants grow bigger and stronger and faster. All right, guys, thank you for wiggling on through as we learned all about the anatomy of earthworms and all the great things they do for us. Remember, please try to take care of worms. If you see one out, put it back in the soil. You'll make it a lot happier and you make your garden or your soil or your yard a much happier place. I'll see you guys next time.